at 848 locally, pretty quiet blue skies, just some clouds here and there, but we're tracking this Milton. Yeah, Milton are beginning to uh, grow in size in terms of, you know, the area that it's covering, but it's weakening just a, a little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Not going to matter too much as far as the weakening yeah. goes. It's still going to be a, a big storm when it uh, hits Florida later tonight. It actually begins to impact uh, Florida slowly through the daytime today. It's got winds of 155 miles an hour right now, moving northeastward at about 16 miles an hour beginning to pick up a, a little forward momentum and will start to accelerate as it works its way on off to the north and he's expected to make landfall somewhere around here around Sarasota Florida as the storm works its way northward what we call the wind field will also expand the areas of yellow that's the tropical storm force winds basically covering pretty much the entire peninsula of Florida, but right in here, right around the center of circulation, 120 to 140 mile an hour winds expected for tonight when it makes landfall around midnight, two o'clock in the morning. And this is uh, some new information in the uh, storm surge forecast, the uh, strongest of the surge or the highest of the surge, I should say, 10 to 15 feet just to the south of where it makes landfall, uh, Sarasota on off to the south. Meanwhile, Tampa St. Pete area, it's lowered a little bit, 8 to 12 feet, but still, that's nothing to uh, mess with there. In terms of rain, they're still expecting some flash flooding as a result of the very heavy rain. Uh, 8 to 12 inches expected in the northern part of the peninsula, locally to 16 inches down there. Even some isolated tornadoes possible in the southern part of the state over the next 24 hours. So certainly a tough time in pretty much the entire state of Florida uh, as we head into Thursday. Meanwhile, we had some thunderstorms around us here in southern New England earlier. They're gone. Sunshine's returning. We're in the upper 40s to mid 50s. Look at that sunshine there in Lincoln. A few clouds around Newport looking good as we look on off to the west. A few clouds in the distance. Temperature of 56. Wind from the northwest at about five miles an hour. Now, Sally radar picture showing some more clouds and even some more sprinkles working through Connecticut. More than likely won't reach us or reach the ground, but we'll watch them looking at generally quiet conditions for today with a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Uh, winds from the west 5 to 10, topping out around 65 in Providence, 67 East Greenwich, westerly 65, Little Compton out to New Bedford in the mid to maybe upper 60s tonight. A little cooler getting down into the low to mid 40s wouldn't surprise me. Some areas get down to the 30s tonight and then for tomorrow we'll top out at around 60 degrees. So a little cooler tomorrow with sunshine. Looks dry for Thursday, looks dry for Friday, but look at the temperature Friday morning in the 30s, topping out around 65 Friday afternoon. Weekend looks okay, especially Saturday, 71 with sun, maybe some showers uh, after sunset Sunday into early on Monday morning. Full forecast, including a look at the details on Milton at WPRI.com.